Hey everybody, it's Jim here, and around a week ago, I posted a video where I said I was no longer going to be purchasing extremely high-end American-made guitars because there was two brands out of Japan that I had fallen in love with, Momose and 77 Guitars. I bring that up because in the comments section of that video, which was absolutely all over the place, mind you, there was one recurring theme that several people did bring up. The claim is that you didn't even need to spend that much money on a guitar. Hell, you didn't even need to spend more than three, four hundred dollars. If you learn how to set up any instrument, even a cheap one like this one we're gonna talk about in a second, and you actually take the time to learn to play, that's all you'll ever really need. So, for today's example, we're gonna be playing one really quick riff back to back between two guitars. This, my very first guitar, a Squire crafted in China in the 1990 Strat that is all stock and missing some pieces on it. Sans 4 American Standard pickups that I installed in the early 2000s against this brand new 2022 Fender Japan Takashi Kato Stratocaster. I want to make this kind of brief with the sound example because I don't think I'm going to need more than one riff to get the point across. Let's hear it. Now that we've heard what both guitars sound like, what was the point of this test? Obviously, these guitars sound a little bit different to each other. They play a little bit different to each other, and I can tell that this is the more expensive guitar when I'm sitting and I'm holding it. My point is, and what I'm really trying to get at with this video, you could tell it was me on both because of my hands. It had nothing to do with the fact that I was playing a higher end guitar versus an entry level guitar. If I was to play that exact riff on any of the guitars in this room, you'd still know it was me playing it because of the tendencies that I have, the technique that I have built up over the years. And I'm not saying I'm a great guitar player. I'm pretty bang average if I'm just being honest with myself. However, all of that practice and work that I put in to develop my own style, that is going to come out no matter what instrument I choose to pick up on that given day. Yeah, the tones are going to vary and some guitars feel and sound better than others, but the crux of the video, we need to spend more time working on that not worrying about new guitar that just came out, looking at reverb for a great new deal on a used guitar, adding another guitar to a collection that is already barely getting used in some instances by people. We need to get back to not just being consumers, but get back to trying to be better musicians, better guitar players, and it doesn't matter what your end goal here is. Whether you just wanna sit and have fun playing songs that you know, you never even want to write something. It doesn't hurt to try and improve. You'll have more fun doing it. If you're somebody who wants to get paid to go out and play your guitar and you're not putting in the time, this is a serious reality check for you. You gotta do that. How can you expect somebody to give you money to go and perform if you're not putting the time in to continually improve? And part of the reason that I love music and I love guitar and I continue to do this and continue to make YouTube videos 
it, it never ends. The journey genuinely never ends until you decide it ends because there's always something else you can learn. There's a new style, a new technique, something else with theory that you may have never thought of before that you can implement into your playing. And that makes this all the more rewarding, all the more worthwhile. You're never really done with music. So instead of always being so focused on the new flashy shiny gear that is available, and I realize I do contribute to that at times when I do demos, maybe just spend more time with the instruments that you already have. Because developing that baseline technique, your baseline tones, your baseline knowledge of theory and just music in general, all of that is going to make you a better guitar player. Purchasing another guitar when you already have perfectly capable ones already, that's not going to do you a damn thing. Now I realize the topic of this discussion could be taken as pretty harsh and some people might be sensitive to hearing things about this. I don't mean to pick on any one person. It's just a trend I see within this community and honestly about a month and a half ago I thought about where I was as a guitarist and I'm not happy with it. I'm really unhappy with it. I haven't been posting every day anymore because I've been spending more time actively trying to improve, to improve my theory, to improve my technique, to expand my vocabulary of music in general, to be able to be where I one day want to be on this instrument. So if I can inspire somebody else to really just maybe take a break from going on these used guitar websites, maybe take a break from watching a few demos or some schmucks like me on the internet and actually just picking up their guitar and try to improve, I think the world would be better off for it. However, that's going to be where we're going to end today's video. If you found this helpful, useful, eye-opening, or boring, you can let me know in the comments down below. The next installment of this series will be, what is the point of having an expensive guitar at all then? If technique really is the king, and I do believe that it is, that's a different day though. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, no matter where you are in this world. I look forward to seeing you again for the next video. Take it easy, everybody.